Rochester High School. We are moments away from uh, getting a week number two started here at Barnhart Field. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. Uh, the Rochester Zebras uh, lost the toss. The uh, Plymouth Rockies have uh, deferred, which means Rochester Austin will get the uh, football to start. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, here at home field advantage, you get the, uh, get the ball to start and try to, uh, you know, set the tempo right away. Real quick, week number one was not very kind to the uh, TRC. No, it wasn't very kind at all. Uh, just a quick score. The Tippecanoe Valley lost to Culver Academy. Uh, they have Bremen tomorrow afternoon at Lucas Oil Stadium. Uh, Whitco lost to Wawa C, uh, 20-7. to they, they have, uh, they have uh, Columbia City tonight. Uh, Manchester Squires lost last week, 28 to Mississinawal. They have Bluffton tonight at 7 o'clock. Southwood uh, lost close, uh, 28-27 to Southern Wells. They have Oak Hill tonight. Uh, Wallbash Apaches, well, I believe we'll see them next week. Uh, they lost to Peru, 26-6. That's kind of a shocker. Uh, and then there you are at Alexandria tonight for Wallbash. Uh, the lone winner in the TRC last week was North Miami. They beat McConaughey. 25-14. They are at Northwestern tonight. That's a 7 o'clock kick. And Northfield, uh, they lost 20-19 to to Bluffton. They are at home tonight uh, hosting Triton. Rochester will receive the kick from Jacob LaFree of the Rockies. They will go right to left on your radio dial. Obviously, the Rockies left to right, back deep to receive the kick. is Hecathorn, Hattachel, and Holland. We are ready for week number two here at Rochester High School. The whistle is blown. LaFree approaches the ball, low end over end kick. It's going to take a hop. It's going to go into the end zone for a touchback. So the Zebras will start at their own 20-yard line going to our left. That's a smart move by Jacob Hodgeshaw there. He, he almost wanted to pick that up and run with it, but he saw he didn't have a lot of blockers in front of him. Let's go ahead and take it on the 20. So that's going to bring John O'Dell, senior quarterback, out from the sideline, and he will run the offense here for the Rochester Zebras. Of course, Jacob Hattachel, your sophomore tailback, he'll be in the game, and we'll see which fullback starts. I'm guessing it'll be Screeton. It will be. It'll be Carter Screeton in the backfield there in the I formation. Twins on the near side, and Benton Imrod and Shally. There's a fake pitch, gives the first man through, and Streeton, and he is stacked up right at the 20, maybe the 21-yard line. Not a lot there. It'll be second down at about nine for the Rochester Zebras. Getting the yard on the carry there. Just couldn't find a hole that time. The tight end is Luke Kennedy. Big, tall 6'5 kid, so another big weapon, as is Bet Nimrod for John O'Dell, bringing the play in from the sideline, is Sheldon Albright. So the Zebras break the huddle. They're in all black. Black pants, black jerseys, gold numbers, black helmets. Shally comes wide to the near side. Eye formation. How to shell dots the eye behind Odell. On second down and nine for the Zebras. Odell under center. A hard count. Nobody jumps. Gives to how to shell right side. Lowers his head and pushes his line forward to about the 25-yard line. So he's going to pick up about four. It'll be second down and uh, make that third down and five now for the Rochester Zebras. That was a good hard run around the end there, Mus. Uh, he lowered his shoulder, took a hit, and able to get that extra yard. So it'll be third and five for Rochester at their own 25-yard line, going to our right ball spotted right in the middle of the field. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. First game of the year here at Rochester High School. Zebras break the huddle. Canterley will be uh, tied to the left side. Wide to the right side is Bet Nimrod. Wide to the near side is Shally. I formations for Odell. On third down and five, John Odell under center. Takes a snap. Back to pass. Rolls on the near side. Here comes some pressure. Throws it up for grabs. And just thrown short. Intended for Peyton Shally, and it'll be incomplete, but John O'Dell was being pressured hard in the backfield. I tell you what, uh, Plummouth brought about two of their linebackers, and they got through and put pressure immediately on O'Dell, and he was able to try to throw off that back foot, just couldn't get enough muscle on the ball. One thing the Rochester Zebras did uh, well in the first half anyway last week was control the line of scrimmage. But Rochester here going three and out. Packer Case comes in, and he was kicking very well in the pregame. He'll kick from his own 13-yard uh, line. It's a high snap. He gets it. Gets it away off the side of his foot and takes a Rochester hop into Plymouth, Terry and, uh, Plymouth Territory and rolls dead around a 46 or 47-yard line. So Plymouth Austin will start here in pretty good field position. Yeah, short field here for Plymouth. And they're a young quarterback, but very, very uh, seasoned fullback. As we see, he's probably going to get a lot of carries right off the bat. I would imagine. And that's Sam Stevens uh, for the Plymouth Rockies. So they're in the huddle, or, or Plymouth. And we'll send two to the near side. Brooke and also Bryles 
The lone back in the backfield is, of course, Stevens, and your quarterback is the sophomore, Kyle Lacefield. So first and 10 for the Rockies at their own 48-yard line, now going to our right. Lacefield ready under center. Here's a snap. Gives a Stevens left side, lowers his head, pushes his way to about the 50, maybe the 49. He's going to pick up about three. It'll be second down and a seven for the Plymouth Rockies. Yeah, they're running. They're running right behind the uh, the big guard there, able to get three yards. Just to, that's a that's a tough run there. So the third and seven for Plymouth at the Rochester 49 yard line with 9:45 to play in the first quarter. No score. And it'll be Brooke and also Bryles on the near side. Stevens again, the fullback. And he is hit immediately in the backfield by Lee, stacked up until the rest of the Zebra tacklers can get there. And a wholesale of black uniform swarms Stevens. He's going to lose a yard. It will bring up the third down and eight for Plymouth. Good job by Rhett Lee there. He was able just to get right through that offensive line and able just to stop Stevens right in his track and uh, stop him that way. Uh, some help can come on the way and get him down to the ground. Third and long for Plymouth here. Ball just, just across midfield. And this is an ideal situation for the Zebra defense, you know, put a little pressure on that young quarterback. Lacefield under center. On the end of round, gives to Ruffing, and Ruffing is tripped up in the line of scrimmage, falls forward for a yard, and it's going to bring up fourth down and about six now for Plymouth. Just into Rochester territory, it looks like it looks court. like Austin. The offense will stay on the field. You know they're pretty confident, obviously, in their defense. And big stop here for the Z's. That way they would have the short field now. But back to kick is well back yeah. to receive a, a snap anyway. It looks like in the shotgun formation is Lacefield. And now Holland drops back to receive the punt. So Lacefield, the sophomore quarterback. Receives the snap. They're going to go for it. Throws it down the near side. It is picked off by Benton Nimrod. Ransom Benton Nimrod on fourth down picks the ball off, and Rochester will take over an outstanding field position. Great job there. The Zebras didn't call for that. He was back in the gun, able to get some pressure on it. He underthrew the ball. Benton Nimrod saw that and just picked that off perfectly. Zebras going to start now, looks like right at the 40 or uh, 38, 38 yard yep. line. 38-yard line on the Rochester hash, which is the near hash here to us. Going to our left, no score here early in the ball game here at Barnhart Field. Again, on the line, the hickory stick. Rochester hasn't seen that since about 2007. First series for the defense there. Zaner's got to be uh, proud of this boy there. As big as the front line is for Plymouth, you're exactly right. Here's the pitch to Hattachel going right. A lot of blockers in front of him. Side steps one, side steps two. Loses the football, and Plymouth is on top of it. They recovered the fumble, and now they'll start at the Rochester 38-yard line. He was dancing, got it stripped, and uh, it looked like one of the linemen about jumped on him for us, but he lost the battle. Hattachel did a great job sidestepping two tacklers, but on the third one, as the third one goes by him, was waving at it, and his big paw caught the ball, and he uh, lost it. So Rochester gives the ball back to Plymouth, and it's first and 10 now for the Rockies at the Rochester 38-yard line, ball in the middle of the field. 7.55 to play, first quarter. Lacefield will bring the club back to the line of scrimmage. Again, Stevens is your fullback. You got two slot backs back there. One is roughing, comes in motion. On the quarterback, keeper around the left side, goes Lacefield. Lacefield on the far side, cuts it up the field. He's inside the 20, he's inside the 15, but we have a flag a on the hold. play. It will be a pull, I believe. Yep. And, and I believe Bet Nimrod was the one being held. Yeah, Bet Nimrod had a, had a good uh, pursuit angle on him, but he was getting held up by the wide receiver out there, and it was right in front of the official, so this should come back. So about a 20-yard gain is negated, and it's going to back Plymouth up. Deeper in Rochester territory with 7.39 to play in the first quarter. Still no score here at Barnhart Field. Actually, the, the, the penalty held about, uh, happened about nine yards down yeah, the field. True. So it should be first and 11 for the Rockies. It will be a hold on Plymouth, so that will back him up. Like Austin said, it didn't happen until about a nine or ten yard gain and actually about second down and ten. Yeah. So First, uh, first down. So Lacefield on the keeper gained 10 before the hold, and they backed it up to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down and about 10 here. Make that first 10 for 
Plymouth. That official there that stepped it off, he didn't have very long legs, so his steps were very big. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. That's about nine and a half. Lacey on the center on first down again. The fullback is Stevens. He takes it inside the Rochester 35 to around the 34-yard line. So he's going to pick up near four. It'll be second down and near six for the Rockies. Another good hard run there by the senior Stevens. Ball on the far hash. Plymouth sideline hash for uh, the Rockies. Going to our right. Second down and six for Plymouth. Wide to the near side comes Brooke. Again, your fullback is Stevens. Also roughing back there with him. The snap, Stevens again up the middle, stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Maybe leans forward for a yard. Not a lot there. It'll be third and about five for Plymouth. Good job there in the middle. I didn't see who stood him up there, but good job there by the two linebackers to step up and uh, basically no gain there. It'll be another third and long. So the ball inside the 35-yard line for Plymouth. They're in Rochester territory with 6.40 to play in the first quarter. No score. Third down and five for the Rockies. Layfield breaks the huddle. They'll send Brooke and Bryles wide to the near side, which is the wide side of the field. Stevens, your fullback. Ruffing comes to motion to the near side. Gets a pitch coming this way. Gets a lot of blocking in front of him. And he is held on and brought down after about a one or two yard gain. It'll be fourth down for Plymouth. Great uh, open field tackle there by Tyler, Tyler Downhour, the uh, outside linebacker, the, the junior. He was able just to hold on to him and drag him to the ground. Drags him down at about the 32 yard line. Bring up fourth and four for the Rockies. And I would say they're definitely going to go for it here. Well, he went for it last time. <laughs> So, Lacefield brings a play in from the sideline. I don't think they'll throw the ball this time. Brooke and Bryles goes left. McCramer is a tailback in the football game. Roughing in motion. Quarterback keeper goes left side, lowers his head, does Lacefield, and he is very close to the first down. And I think they're going to give it to him, too. By the, the, way the, they had the way he had the ball held. Yeah, look, he needed four. Looks like he might have got five. The official eyes it, and he's going, to yep, measure it, yeah. he's going to call for the sticks to come across and measure this, uh, measure that run on fourth down. So it'll either be Rochester football or first and ten for Plymouth inside the Rochester 30 with five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. It's going to be close. I don't think he got it. So they stretch it. It's going to be he close. Did. He didn't get it. Yep. Got oh, him. just yep. by the tip of the football. So it'll be first and ten after a five-yard gain by Lacefield for the Rockies. And this fourth down was successful for Plymouth. Ball in the middle of the field going to our right. It'll be first and ten at the 28-yard line for Plymouth on the Rochester 28-yard line. Riles and Brooke near to the, wide to the near side. Stevens, your fullback. Wing right is McCramer. Wing left is Ruffing. Ruffing comes in motion to the near side. Lace Field gets the snap. Gives to Stevens right up the middle. Stevens inside the 10. The 5. Touchdown. Plymouth. I tell you what. He, uh, the linebackers got uh, caught there. There was nobody in the middle of the field. Once he passed the line, he was home free. Sam Stevens scores on a 28-yard run. And to put the Rockies on the board first, 6 to nothing with 5.09 to play in the first quarter. Coach Zayner not happy with that effort. Those, those linebackers just kind of caught out of position there. And once, like I said, once he got about three, four yards down the field, there was nobody there. So Plymouth will attempt the extra point. Lace field is your holder. Snap is down, and we're going to have a uh, offside on Rochester. It should be. As Jacob France, the uh, extra point kicker, had plenty. So that's going to... You know, mark off some, and actually Coach Barron is going to decline that. The extra point was good. It's seven. I don't think he can decline that, can he? There's a dead ball foul. Oh, he's trying. <laughs> a dead ball foul, you, know, you can't decline that. So we'll try it again, as France was perfect on the first attempt. The extra point coming. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. 
And this one is good. 5.09 to play in the first. Plymouth leads 7-0. You're listening to Rochester Football, 92.1 WROI. At Smith, Sawyer, and Smith Insurance Agency of Rochester, they know anything can happen at any given time without notice. They also know that finding the right insurance for the right price is really pretty easy. That's why they are your local trusted choice agent, which means they have access to multiple insurance companies that offer competitive pricing and coverage. Call 574-223-2166 or stop by their downtown location at 124 East 8th Street. You can also visit them online at smithsawyerins.com. Since 1932, Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance has protected individuals and families from those unforeseeable events in life. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Rochester High School, Plymouth Rockies lead 7-0 after a 28-yard touchdown run by Sam Stevens right up the middle. And the play was good. Again, 7-0 here with 5.09 to play in the first quarter. Early in the ball game uh, between West Central and Kasson, we're t- and they're tied at 7. So, Holland had a shell, and Heckathorn left to right, back deep to receive the kick from Plymouth. And LaFree will do the kicking again. So a big fourth down conversion by Lacefield results in a touchdown for the Rockies. They're up 7 0. He receives the kickoff of the nine. In the middle of the field of the 20, cuts back at the 25 and is finally collared at about the 28 yard line. So a pretty good return by Jay Heckathorn. And the Zebra will start in decent field position here with 4.55 to play in the first quarter. Clock running. 7 0. Plymouth on top. And the Zebras will start at their own 29 on the near hash. Kennedy and Shally go wide to the right side. Splits to the near side. Uh, Odell in the shotgun formation. Throws down the middle of the field. And it is incomplete. And that pass intended. Intended for Hodgeshell. Yeah, that's right. Almost looked like uh, the fullback Stevens, which now he's playing uh, in the middle of the field as a linebacker. He had coverage there with hot shell step for step. So it'll be second down and 10 for the Zebras of their own 29 yard line. 425 to play in the first quarter. Again, Plymouth leads 7 to nothing. Shally goes wide to the right side. Albright wide to the near side. Kennedy's tight end right. I formation for Odell on second down and 10. Down under center. Takes the snap, fakes the handoff, rolls right. Here comes the pressure. Here's the screen, gets to Hattashell. Hattashell cuts it upfield, and he is hit and driven across the 30 to about the 31-yard line. Not a lot there. Nice recovery by the Plymouth defense, who had all sorts of pressure on Odell's face and then was able to recover in time to stop that for about a two- or three-yard gain. Give him three on the on the first completion of the game, and leave it third and seven here for the Z's. Third and seven at their own 32-yard line with under four minutes to play in the first quarter. Ball on the near side of the field, which is a short side. Bet Nimrod wide to the near side. Shally split right out of the shotgun formation. Odell throws to Shally. A sliding catch is complete to about the 48-yard line. A 17-yard pitch and catch from Odell to Shally, and the Zebras are their first first down of the home season. Good catch there by Peyton Shally that was a little bit underthrown, but he was able to go down and get the ball. And a big third down conversion. What I saw was Jonathan Odell. It was the only way that um, the only one could catch the ball there was Shally. It was a pretty good throw by John Odell. So it'll be first and 10 for the Zebras at their own 47 yard line, 48 yard line. I formation behind Odell. Shally wide to the right side. John takes a snap, gives to Hattashell left. He is tripped up in the backfield. Mm, don't think he got back to the line of scrimmage. He's going to lose one. It'll be second and 11. Back at the 47. 3 10 to play. First quarter, Plymouth leading 7 0. Rochester with the football at their own 47 yard line, going to our left, looking at second down and 11. Shally wide to the near side. Kennedy will be tight left. Bet Nimrod tight right. How to shell dots the eye. On second and 11, Odell back to pass, fakes the handoff, rolls right, looks right, has Bet Nimrod complete. Ransom net, Bet Nimrod, then inside the 30 yard line. 
I believe he's tackled shy of the 25 and a big gainer there between Ben Nimrod and Odell to be first and 10 for the Zebras. Now in Plymouth territory at about the 20... 28-yard line. 28-yard line. Good uh, good completion there by Odell. He had the big uh, senior guard in his face, Dan Famous, and he was getting some pressure on there, but he was able to put that ball just over his fingertips. Good completion there to Bet Nimrod. So first and 10 for the Rochester Zebras at the Plymouth 28. High back formation again for the Zebras. Odell under center. Takes a handoff. Gives to Shally. And Shally is going to maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, or he might. It looks like he's going to get back to the line, so it'll be second down and 10 for the Zebras. Ball at about the 28, with two minutes to play in the first quarter. Plymouth leading 7 to nothing. And Nimrod brings a play in from the uh, sideline. He'll go split to the right side, which is the short side of the field. Shally comes split to the near side. Kennedy tight to the left. Split back now for Odell. John back to pass. Looks left. Looking for Shally in the end zone. It is incomplete. Great defensive effort on this near side. By Plymouth's Justin Drudge to break up that pass. Or it was an easy six for Rochester. It'll be third down now and ten for the Zebras. It was a good thrown ball there by Odell. Just Drudge went up, made a play on the ball, just tipped it right uh, right over the top of uh, Shally, and he wasn't able to make a play on it. Nice strong throw by the senior. Yeah, yeah you got to like that throw right there. So it'll be third and ten. Clock stop with 138 to play in the first. Again, Plymouth up seven to nothing. Shally this time will go split right. Albright's wide to the near side. Shotgun formation for Odell. O- How to Sheldon his left, screen to his right. Odell takes the snap, looks left, looks left, throws it over the top of Albright, so it'll bring up fourth down and 10. The ball is at about the 28-yard line, and this would make it about a 45-yard field goal attempt for John Odell. He was hitting them going this way earlier in the uh, pregame, and they will try it. They will try a 45-yard attempt going with the slight breeze about four or five miles per hour. Beautiful night here at Barnhart Field. Not a cloud in the sky, about 85 degrees. Actually, they're going to say a 44-yard attempt coming for Odell. A 44-yard attempt coming for Odell. Snap is back. Hold is down. Odell puts the right foot into it. It's blocked. It's blocked. The live ball. Picked up by Plymouth. And they're off to the races at the 40, the 35, the 30. He's on his way to the end zone. Rick Kramer scores a touchdown on the block, or the block field goal for the Plymouth Rockies, and now it's 13 to nothing. I tell you what, that was a block field goal, and Coach Swank's upset because Odell kind of gave up on that must. He just stood there, didn't even go after the ball, and uh, easy six points there for the Rockies. Kaiser McCramer picked up the block. Extra to make that the block field goal and traveled 70 yards for a touchdown for the Rockies. We'll say 60. 13 to nothing. The extra point coming. Snap is back. Hold is down. Kick is away. And it is good. 14-0 Plymouth with 121 to play in the first quarter. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Your Culligan man has asked me to talk to you about your water. Are there rusty stains in your sink? And does your water smell and taste bad? Then it's time to call your Culligan man and ask about a Culligan water filtration system because clean water doesn't smell, but contaminants do. A Culligan system eliminates the elements that stain sinks and tubs while reducing corrosion and buildup in fixtures and appliances so they'll last longer and save you some serious dollars. Right now, try a Culligan system for only $9.95 a month for the first six months. Call 574-223-2420 and say, hey, Culligan man, that's 574-223-2420 or visit CulliganFultonCounty.com. Culligan, better water, pure and simple. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Minute 21 to play the first quarter. Plymouth now leads 14 to nothing. I wasn't sure. I, I didn't see who blocked the field goal, but we did see Kaiser McCramer, who has a very good speed. Uh, that young man, 6'1", 
180 pounds, and he just ran away from the uh, zebra defenders and scored from about 60 yards out. Yeah, there was a, there was a couple of zebras though that like you uh, like I said earlier, I think it was a committee on who who uh, blocked that. But a couple Ethan of Sampson Val from the uh, Rochester Sentinel just told me. Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Broke pin. <laughs> so back deep, receive the kick for Rochester's Holland, Hattishell, and Heckathorn. The free puts a right foot into it, pulls it to the left a little bit. Holland takes it at the 15, at the 20, at the 25, lowers his head, and gets out to about the 27-yard line. So Rochester will start there with a minute 10 to play in the first quarter, trailing 14 to nothing to the Plymouth Rockies. Okay, the last drive, I know we uh, had the turnover on the uh, extra or the field goal attempt, but the only thing that really worked for the Zebras last time was the passing game. That's right. Two big, two big. Uh, pass plays. Got Rochester two first downs. They made a 17-yard catch to Peyton Challey and a 26-yard catch to uh, Bet Nimrod. It's the only thing that really moved the ball there, and uh, we'll see what they do this drive. Ball in the far hash for Rochester with their own 27. Challey wide to the near side. Bet Nimrod split right, split backs for Odell. John fakes to Hattishell, gives to Streeton, and he is stacked up at about the 29, so give him two yards. It'll bring up second down and eight for Rochester with 40 seconds to play in the first quarter. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. Barnhart Field here for Rochester tonight. Battle of the Hickory Stick. Again, Plymouth has had that since about 2007. Albright brings a play in from the sideline with 25 seconds to play in the first quarter. Again, Plymouth leading 14 to nothing. It'll be second down and eight for Rochester with their own 29-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. Shally goes split right. Kennedy tight right. Albright tight left. Eye backs for Odell. Down to six on the play clock. Down to three. Down to two. Down to one. Odell gets it off. Gives to Hattishell, and he is stacked up right at the line of scrimmage, maybe to the 30, give him one, and that'll be the final play of the first quarter. After one, Plymouth leads 14 to nothing. We'll take a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Most anticipated car event for 2013 is here. This is John Adair, General Manager at Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Truck, Rochester, Indiana. The Dodge Dart is here. This groundbreaking compact sedan offers the interior spaciousness of a midsize sedan. It is the most advanced technological car in its class, offering fuel efficiency, safety, and is economical. From its clean lines from nose to tail, it forms a sleek silhouette that is fun to drive. Come visit us at our location, 1702 Main Street, Rochester. The new Dodge Dart for 2013. The time has come to unleash the perfect driving experience at Mike Anderson Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Truck. We mean it when we say, now you have a friend in the car business. Zebra Football. WROIFM.com. Back at Rochester High School. Going to the second quarter. Plymouth leads the Rochester Zebras 14 0. And as we begin the uh, second, Rochester looking at third and seven at their own 29 yard line. Now going to our right. Shally comes wide to the near side, which is the uh, wide side of the field. Ben Nimrod split left. Odell in the shotgun formation. Back to pass is John. Here comes some pressure. Throws to the near side. It is complete to the 41-yard line, and that's enough for a zebra first down. You know what? A really good route ran there by Peyton Shally. He was able to cut out towards the sideline, and Odell put the ball right on the money. Good uh, little pitch and catch there. After one, Northwestern leading North Miami 7 to nothing. Other TRC action, uh, Manchester is down 6-0 to to Bluffton. Pioneer leading Winnemac at Pioneer tonight, 14 to nothing right now. Odell in the shotgun again at the 41-yard line of the Zebras. Gives the handoff to Hattishell. Jake Hattishell lowers his head, and it's hit hard just before he gets to the 45-yard line, giving the 44 and 3 yards. It'll be second down and seven for the Zebras with 11-10 to play in the first half. Again, Plymouth leading 14 to nothing. Tell you what, that was a hard hit there. Yeah. On uh, 
on Hallam Shell, and that was the uh, number 22, Stevens. So second and seven for the Zebras at the 44-yard line. Got Nimrod wide to the near side. Looks like Shally split left. Back to passes Odell, looking for Shally complete. He turns it out towards the Plymouth sideline. He's got a first down. He's in the Plymouth territory. He's down around the 44-yard line. That's a first down for the Zebras. Another nice little route there by Shally, but the big thing is, is he got eight, nine yards there most after the catch. He threw it to his right shoulder at Odell. And Shally just basically went with a throw and then cut it out towards the Plymouth sideline and cut it upfield and got a big gainer and got into Plymouth territory with 10 and a half to play in the first half. Rochester has it at the Plymouth 44-yard line going to our right. Ball split on the, or marked on the far side of the field. Already in the first half, Shally with three catches for 38 yards. Two receivers to both sides for Odell in the shotgun formation. And then gives it, uh, fakes the screen and keeps it. Odell in the middle of the 35, lowers his head. Intervert whistle. Odell had a 15 or 20 yard gain, and we've got an inter intervert whistle. They didn't see the. They didn't. See. So we'll do it again. Oh, Odell just picked up 20 yards, and because of the whistle, the intervert whistle, they're going to uh, call it back, and we're going to wow. start again. Wow. The 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 play fake was so good. Who will be official? Coach Z obviously not happy with that. I wouldn't be either. So, again, it'll be first and 10 for the Zebras at their own 44-yard line. Ball in the far hash. I bet they don't run that same thing right now. <laughs> 9.45 to play in the first half. Plymouth leading 14 to nothing. They will send twins to the near side. It is the same formation. Kennedy and how to shell White make that uh, Peyton White to the near side. Peyton Shally. Back to passes Odell. Looks right. Looks right, throws right, has Shally down the near sideline. He's got the catch of the 15. Stays on his feet, gets inside the 15 to the 14. First and 10, Zebras. I tell you what, the way to come back from that, you know, that play right there was big mess because we could have took the negative on that last uh, inadvertent whistle. We could have took that and made it a negative, but uh, Odell says, no, nah, I'll, I'll just complete a good game here to Shally. A 30-yard pitch and catch from Odell to Shally. And the Zebras in business now inside the 15-yard line of the Rockies, trailing 14 to nothing with 9.24 to play in the first half. Boy, John throws a good ball. I tell you what, that was uh, one of the best stone tonight. Yep. Shally comes wide to the near side. High back formation, two tight ends for the Zebras. Going to our right now, ball in the near hash. Odell under center, takes a snap, takes a handoff, rolls left, looking for Benton Nimrod. It's in the end zone, and he's off it. Just off his fingertips. Just through his hands, and it's incomplete. It'll be second down and 10. I tell you what, that shows the arm strength of John O'Dell. He was getting dragged to the ground there as he let that go. Still got the pass well, on the money. And now that you say that, was that intended for Kennedy? Nimrod. Yes. <laughs> Kennedy was underneath, I'll give you that. But it definitely hit Bet Nimrod right in the hands as he was falling down, by the way. I think if you ask O'Dell, it's Bet Nimrod. <laughs> I'm sure he will. So it'll be second down and 10 for the Zebras at their uh, at the Plymouth 14-yard line. Shally split to the left side. Albright comes wide to the near side. Split backs for Odell. Kennedy is tight left. Ball on the near, on the near hash. Here's a snap. Back to pass as Odell looks left. Throws it to Kennedy in the middle of the field. Incomplete. That had doom spelled on it from the word go as uh, Odell dropped the snap. Yeah, the exchange wasn't good there, and I think he panicked a little bit and just got rid of the ball, but... Unfortunately, no harm done. No harm done there. It's going to be third and ten. Again, ball at the 14-yard line of the Plymouth Rockies. Rochester going to our right. The Rockies lead 14 to nothing. Ben Nimrod brings a play in from the sideline. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman here at Rochester High School. Odell brings the uh, guys to the line of scrimmage with ten on the play clock. Ben Nimrod tight left. Kennedy tight right. Shally split to the right side. Eye backs for Odell. Takes a snap. Pitches to Hattel Shell. Gives to Shally on the end. On the reverse. He's got a blocker in front of Odell. Hey, Shally then trips and gains about nine. It'll bring up fourth down and one for the Zebras. He had that thing was in the end zone and he got tripped up. He got tripped up by his left foot. Body got ahead of his feet and he just fell forward enough to give him nine. So it'll bring up fourth down and one for the Zebras at about the five. I tell you what, what a great block by Jonathan Odell out in the open field. The one Rocky that could have made a play, uh, Odell made sure he was laying on the ground. I think I'd like to run behind John Odell. <laughs> I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> Eight and a half to play in the first half. 
It'll be fourth and one for the Zebras at Plymouth's five-yard line. Ball spot on the far side of the field, the far hash. Down to eight on the play clock. Zebras still in the huddle. They're down to six. They're going to have to blow a timeout. They're down to three, down to two, down to one, and now Coach Zaner will use a timeout. We'll take a 60-second break as well. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Get started by contacting State Farm agent Jeff Klinkhammer at 223-3017. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Dean Foods have been supplying dairy products to America's table since 1925. They're proud to bring you outstanding dairy products that promote a healthy living for you and your family. Everyone needs calcium and dairy products are the purest way to get your daily requirement. When shopping, load up on the perfect foods. Dairy products from Dean Foods, Rochester. Dean Foods, created by nature, delivered by Dean. Zebra Football, WROIMM.com. Rochester High School, the Zebras had to burn one of their timeouts here in the uh, first half. But it's a pretty important timeout as Rochester looking at fourth and one at the Rocky five-yard line. Going to our right, they're going to go to the full house backfield and two tight. Bet Nimrod tight left, Kennedy tight right. Full house backfield with Basham in it. Behind Odell from the five. John in fourth and one looking to draw Plymouth offside. Not working. Now takes the snap. Oh, uh, shell right side, and he carries a defender to about the four, maybe the three. That'll give him enough for a first down, give shell two on the pickup. It'll be first and goal for Rochester at about the three-yard line, and now we got a Plymouth Rocky hurt. It's Stevens, too. But he's grabbing oh. the ankle. Middle linebacker, also the fullback, or tailback. Grabbing it, he's up. He gets up. I think that he knew if he's if somebody, they come out to get him, which they obviously did come out and get him, he's going to have to come out. He's got to sit out for at least one play. More importantly, he's the horse of the offense. Yeah, he's the horse of the offense. Now, you know what I thought defensively so far, he's been in about four or five big tackles. So Rochester will have it first and goal. At about the two or three yard line. Ball about in the middle of the field. After one, Pioneer leads Winnemac 21 to nothing. So the Zebras will set up in the same formation. How to shell, Streeton, and Basham left to right in the backfield. A quick snap. How to shell right side. Looking to pick his way through traffic. Stacked up right at about the one. Oh, he's going to get in. Well, he gave it, got in. Holy cow, a second effort gets him in, and the Rochester Zebras are on the board. Great job by Jacob Hatchell, the second effort. He just never gave up. Got the Zebras on the board, which we needed a big score here uh, before halftime. And the Coleman boys. Light them up. So the Zebra's on the board. It's 14 to 6. And Odell will come on to attempt the extra point. Bet Nimrod, your holder. Jacob Hattershell, a two-yard touchdown run. Put the Zebra's up. Snap his back. Hold us down. Kick us away. And it is no good. Wide to the right side. So we'll take a 30-second timeout. Zebra's trailing Plymouth 14 to 6. You're listening to Rochester Football 92.1 WROI. Small business has never been easy, but H&R Block Small Business Resources, Peace Tree Village Plaza of Rochester, really can help. H&R Block Small Business Resources specializes in monthly and quarterly write-ups, tax preparation, and consulting for individuals and businesses, payroll tax services, estate and financial planning, computer consulting, business startup and management consulting, and so much more. So when you need individual or business Business accounting help, call on the professionals at HR Block, Small Business Resources of Rochester, Peace Tree Village Plaza. Call 223 3106. That's 574 223 3106. They're ready to help you and your business. Zebra Football. play in the first half. Rochester on the board after a two-yard touchdown run by Jacob Hattershell. The Odell kick was no good. The Rochester Zebras trail Plymouth right now 14-6. And Odell will kick going to our left. I mean, sorry, I'm sorry, our right. Ruffing is back deep. For Plymouth to receive the kick. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman, also back deep. For the Rockies is Dakota Brooks. Coming up at halftime, we're going to have the Pats 
landing pizza and grill halftime show. So you want to stick around for that first half stats and all sorts of uh, discussions about this first half. Odell ready. Puts a right foot into a low end over end kick. Ruffing checks it up at the 5. He gets it at the 10, the 15. Dodges one tackler, but can't uh, get all of them. And he has cut down shy of the 20, giving the 19 on the return to a 14-yard kick return by Ruffing. And Plymouth starts there with 7.5 to play in the first half, leading 14 to 6. So they start right on the 19-yard line. Looks like Kyle Kasky was the one who brought him down. So back on the field comes Lacefield. Do we see Stevens? Uh, yeah, I don't see him on the sidelines anymore. Yeah, he's in there. Stevens is in there. The wing back to the right side is McCramer. Wing back to the near side is Ruffing. Lacefield under center. McCramer comes in motion to the near side. Gives to Stevens up the middle. Stevens drags tacklers about the 24-yard line, so he's going to get close to four, uh, five or six yards. It'll be second down and manageable now for the Rockies with 7.45 to play. Make that 6.45 to play in the first half. The Rockies lead again 14-6. to six. So far here in the first half, uh, Stevens carried the ball six times for 40 yards. Giving five of that carry. It'll be second down and five for Plymouth. Bryles comes wide to the near side for the Rockies. Lacefield under center. Stevens again now left side. A huge hole. Stevens at the 30, the 35, the 40. Tiptoes to the 45 and gets to the 46-yard line. So a 22-yard play for Sam Stevens gives the Rockies first and 10 at their own 46-yard line. And that wasn't a hard run. He was just waiting for blocks to form in front of him. Yeah, he just ran around the left side of the line there and found a huge hole and was patient with his blockers and able to get a good 22-yard carry. So first and 10 for the Rockies at their own 46-yard line. Ball in the near hash. Brooke comes, goes wide to the right side, which is the far side of the field. Stevens in the backfield. Plays field to snap. Stevens again, right side, center steps. Now accelerates through the hole. He's across the 50 into Rochester territory, but a flag in the play. And it came from that middle umpire, so it should be a holding call on the Rockies. Yep, so it will be a hold indeed, so it'll back him up. Looks like about, what, second down and about uh, they're gonna lose. 17. Yeah, it should be. 17 or 18 yards. Again, 5.50 to play, first half. Plymouth leads 14 to 6 here at Barnhart Field. And this is a battle for the Hickory Stick. Plymouth has owned that for several years. Again, coming up at halftime, it's the Pats Landing Pizza and Grill halftime show. So it looked like he got about two yard gain, so it's going to back him up 10 from the. So it'll be second down and close to 18. Ball gonna I beg your pardon, first and 18. First and 18, ball going to be spotted at the 36 and a half. Sure. Yeah. Clock rolls, five and a half to play in the first half. Brook and Bryles wide to the right side. Lacefield under center, Stevens behind him. Ruffing goes in motion on the option. Lacefield keeps it. Another flag on the play. Lacefield did a great job reading the defense, just lowered his head and got a couple of yards to the positive. But there's another flag. I think it's going to be, I saw Sam up in there, big 74. I think he's the one that had a handful of jersey there. Face mask. Oh, it'll be a face mask on the Zebras. Oh, so that'll be an automatic first down, won't it? Yeah. For the Rockies. Again, Plymouth leading 14 to 6. Fifteen yard penalty. So that'll take the ball up to the Plymouth forty nine yard line right in the middle of the field. It's gonna be I thought the chain movement's gonna be first and it doesn't move, does it? No, first and six. So the ball at the forty nine for Plymouth. Two wide outs to the right side. 
Basefield under center. Back to pass. Looks right. Throws right. Got a receiver. It is incomplete. Nice defense by Cy Holland over there on the far side. Pass intended for Dakota Brook. And Holland breaks it up. Or that was a big gainer. Probably six. I thought Holland was beat, but he was able to gain a little ground there late and able to get his big ball up there and swat the ball away. Good job there for Holland. 5-13 to play in the first half. It'll bring up second down. <laughs> really? When that play started, it was first and six. When that play ended, it's now second and ten. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't understand what you're uh-huh. talking about, man. Second and ten from the 49. <laughs> Or was it an automatic first down on the face mask? Well, isn't it? I thought it is. I thought it was, too. it's a personal foul. Apparently, I don't know. I thought it was, and now... Well, didn't you go to your... Nope. That your, uh, I you didn't get your uh, umpire license this year? Uh, your referee <laughs> license? No. They don't give it to uh, morons. <laughs> <laughs> Self-proclaimed, by it the way. Will be, it will be second and about six, as the, flat, the sticks will be put back to the, where they were before that incomplete pass. So it'll be second down and six for the Rockies at their own 49-yard line, going to our left with 5.13 to play in the first half. But do so they technically lose? Well... So apparently a face mask, 15-yard face mask, is not an automatic first down. Sure. Or maybe it will be next week. <laughs> I'll let you know. Jeez. <laughs> 5.13 to play first half. Regardless, it's still in the 49. You're too hard on officials, Must I didn't say... <laughs> I never once complained. Ball in the middle of the field. Place field under center. Back to pass again. Here comes the pressure. Throws it up. It is complete. The Kramer has it. Dotting away through tacklers. Gets out to the Rochester 40. Falls across the 40 at about the 39. So that'll be enough for a first down for Plymouth. Just inside the Rochester 40. I thought uh, I thought he was going to get sacked there. The Zebras had some pressure on him. He's able to get the ball away. Black rolls under five to play, and Plymouth on the move again. Roger, Plymouth leading 14 to six, and they've got it now at the Rochester 40-yard line. Going to our left, ball in the middle of the field. Looks like Brooke wide to the near side. Here's the handoff to Stevens. Stevens going left now, cuts it back inside. Still taking a bunch of tacklers inside the 35 and drags tacklers to the 29-yard line. What a fabulous run by Sam Stevens. That's going to get, uh, he's right on the first down mark, giving 10 on the carry. You know, give him nine now, maybe. Give him 11. Fisher took a step back. Now he took a step forward. Give him 11. It'll be first and 10 for Plymouth. Now inside the Rochester 30 at the 29-yard line. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. Ball in the near hash for the Rockies. And Plymouth will send wide to the right side. Brooke. The slot back to the near side is Ruffing. Slot back to the right side is McCramer. Stevens is your fullback. Lacefield under center. Lacefield pitches to Stevens going right. Got a block in front of him. Cuts it upfield now. Lowers his head. And is brought down near the 25-yard line. I'm not sure if he got there or not, but it's going to be close. It'll be second down for the Rockies. Now four minutes to play in the first half. Again, the Rockies lead 14-6. to six. Giving four on the carry. Ball will be at the 25-yard line of the far hash. Again, Plymouth going to our left. Brook and also Bryles wide to the night near side. Lacefield under center taking a lot of time off the play clock. Down to eight, down to seven. Lacefield under center with five. Here's the snap, back to pass, works to the near side, flips it out to the flat, is incomplete, intended for roughing, and that's going to bring up third down and five for the Rockies with three and a half to play in the first half. Seeing a little more passing here in the second quarter from the Plymouth Rockies. So third down for Plymouth, five to go from the Rochester 25-yard line. Basefield has the play. Brooke wide to the near side. Bryles will be tight. Stevens in the backfield. Slots, Ruffing, and McCramer. 
Plays field under center with nine on the play clock. Gives the Stevens stutter steps. Now up the middle. Leaps over a tackler. And gets inside the Rochester 20 near the 15-yard line. So it's going to be the first down for Plymouth. As they're chewing up yards here, and number 22, Sam Stevens, is doing it all. Yeah, 10 carries, 77 yards so far in the first half. I'm sorry, 10 carries, 87 yards so far in the first half for Stevens, as they're just basically riding right down to the end zone. So Plymouth again in the red zone. Browse on the near side. The short side split out is Brook. Plays field under center with 12 on the play clock. Ruffin goes in motion to the right. Here's the pass over the middle. Oh. McCramer wide open, and Lacefield threw it over his head and behind him. It'll bring up second down and 10 with three minutes to play. McCramer was wide open there. If he caught that, he was he wide open. open. Nothing but uh, end zone there for McCramer. Second down and 10 for the Rockies at the Zebra 15-yard line. Wide out to the near side, which is the wide side of the field, is Dakota Brook. Place field again under center. Pitches to Stevens. He goes left side. Hesitates. Now kicks it further out left. Now comes out to the near sideline. We're going to have a flag on the play. He's tripped up as he gets about the 13-yard line. Nice pursuit there by the Zebra defense. I think we're going to have a block in the back. We should bring him back 10 yards. Good call. Hey, you know, pretty good this month. This is the best team you've ever had with me. <laughs> it's only the first one of the year. I'm talking ever. Oh. That kind of hurts my feelings. <laughs> 2.57 to play in the first half. Plymouth leads 14-6, to six, and it will be, like Austin said, a block in the back. It'll back him up 10. It'll be second down and about 20 for the Rockies. Should put him on the 20. Two-yard line, 25-yard line, 22-yard line. When you get past the 50, you almost can't, because of the sun setting, you almost can't see the yard markers. The lines, anyway. For Kramer, and also, Brooke, wide to the right side. Bryles, wide to the near side. Lone back in the backfield is Stevens. Lacefield back to pass. Here comes some pressure. Steps up. Throws out to the flat. It is complete to Ruffing. Ruffing gets a great block on the far side by McCramer. He cuts it upfield inside the 10, down to around the 11. How about that block by Stevens, who took on two zebra tacklers? Actually, I think it was McCramer. Was it McCramer and Stevens? Not in the backfield. Not in the backfield. Stevens picked up two defenders for the Zebras and basically sprung Lacefield for another second look who got it a complete pass out to Ruffing. And uh, it brings up third down and about six for Plymouth with 2.40 to play in the first half. The Rockies leading 14-6. to six. Give him 15 on the pitch and catch. Nice little sidearm throw there uh, by uh, Lacefield, the sophomore quarterback. Ball to 10. Lacefield under center. The Kramer comes in motion on the near side. Steven takes the handoff over the right side of the line, and he gets about to five on the pickup. It'll bring up fourth down and one for the Rockies as the clock rolls with under two and a half to play in the first half. I'll tell you what, though, he's been running that ball right up the middle. Must have taken two, three zebras and tackling. He has definitely been the workhorse of the first half, as the stats will show and the stats you'll hear here coming up during the uh, Pat's Landing Pizza and Grill halftime show. He's going to be nearing 100 yards here if he uh, carries the ball here the rest of the way. He would get 100 yards, but they don't have that much field to go. Fourth and two. Place field under center. Stevens the carry. Nope, make that. Yeah, Stevens the carry. Bounces off one tackler. He's looking in. for the end zone. I think he's in. And he's in. Seven-yard touchdown run by Sam Stevens. And the Rockies are up now 20-6. to six. I'll tell you what, that, that kid just ran hard that whole play, that whole drive. He just had four or five really good hard runs. Well, that, that play was a good play. That started up the middle, maybe off the right side a little bit, and then he popped it out to the outside and got in inside the pylon. Yeah, once he bumps it out to the outside, he's a hard guy to bring down the open field. 152 to play in the first half. The Rockies lead 20-6, to six, and the extra point coming. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away, and it is good. 
21 to 6. We'll take a 30 second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Why do people love Nubiano's famous Italian pizza so much? It makes me happy. The gooey cheese. The hand tossed crust. The toppings. The homemade sauce. The taste. I don't know. I just love it. Call Nubiano's at 223 4224. That's 223 4224. Dine in, carry out, and delivery is available. Don't forget, they also have delicious hot baked sandwiches and salads too. Nubiano's Italian Pizza. 714 East 9th Street, Rochester. A Fulton County tradition since 1982. Zebra Football. WROIFM.com. 152 to play in the first half. The Rockies have extended their lead to a 21 and 6 margin. And they will be kicking to the Rochester Zebras. Back deep will be Holland, Hattachelle, and Heckathorn left to right. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. We're at Barnhart Field. Next week, we're home again as we start the conference portion of the season. Against uh, Wabash. Wabash Apache. Okay, well, 152 on the on the clock. We got two great time. opportunity to work on some things. Yeah, we got we got two timeouts left. We get a decent return here. Let's, uh, I think uh, Coach Z definitely let that ball fly and see if we can get close to at least a John O'Deal field goal. So the free back to kick the ball off for the Rockies. How to shell the deep man stands at about his own five. The free high end over end kick. How to shell's going to run up on it and take it to the ten. How to shell the twenty. Gets a block at the thirty. How to shell back inside the field, back inside the hashes, I should say, and he carries the ball out to the forty yard line. A nice return by Jake Hattachel, 30 yards, and it'll be first and 10 for the Zebras in pretty good field position. I uh, right at the 40-yard line. Let's see if uh, the senior Odell can lead this offense here down the field with about a uh, little, uh, little over a minute to go. Ball will be spotted on the Rochester hash, the near hash, short side of the field. Kennedy split to the right side. Bet Nimrod and Shally go split left. High backs for John Odell. 145 to play in the first half. Plymouth leads 21 to 6. And Rochester, perfect opportunity here to work on the two-minute drill. Odell the snap. Fakes the handoff. Back to pass. Looks left. Throws left. It is complete to Shelly. Shelly dodges one defender. Gets inside the Plymouth 30. Down to around the 29-yard line. First and 10 favorites. I tell you what, great job by Peyton Shelly to catch the ball. Make sure he, he had it before he took off running. Then the Plymouth Rocky had a great strip almost on the ball, but he uh, able to hold on. Good job there by the senior Shally. 31-yard pass play from Odell to Shally, and it's first and 10 for the Zebras at the uh, 29 of the Rockies. 137 to play in the first half. Odell now in the shotgun formation. Bet Nimrod split left. Shally split to the near side. Back to pass is Odell. Fakes. Throws now to the near side. It is incomplete. Nice defense on the near side by Bryles. Looking for Shally again. And that'll bring up second down and 10. Shally ran that out route towards the sidelines again. He, uh, Bryles able to cut that pattern off a little short and able to get his hand up and swipe the ball away. I have been extremely impressed by the touch that Odell has shown here in the first half. Yeah, he uh, he's uh, over 100 yards. Completed seven passes for 128. Peyton Shally has five catches for 99. 127 to play in the first half. Second down and 10 for the Zebras. Split backs for Odell from the 29 of Plymouth. Odell back to pass, looking for Shally again, near side. And incomplete. He had, I believe, some room on the inside. Odell threw it to the outside portion near the sideline. And it'll bring up third and 10. Just overthrew him just a tad. Bet Nimrod brings the play in from the sideline. It's going to be third and 10 now for Rochester at the 29 of the Plymouth Rockies with 122 to play in the first half. 21 to 6 Plymouth. Ball on the far side. Far hash. Bet Nimrod. Shally comes split to the near side. Wide side of the field. Kennedy is tight left. I backs for Odell on third and 10. Back to pass is John O'Dell over the middle to Kennedy. It is complete. Kennedy then holds the ball in about the 11-yard line, maybe to the 10. An 18-yard pitch and catch for Odell to Kennedy. First and 10 for the Zebras. Good catch there by Kennedy. He, he, was, uh, he was able to split the two defenders. Odell put the pass right on the money. Down the 11-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Zebras at the 11 with a minute 17 to play in the first half. Ball in the middle of the field. Rochester comes to the line of scrimmage. They've got the full house backfield. Shally back in there along with Streeton and Hattachel. Two tight ends for Rochester. Watch, Ode- the, watch the bootleg. Odell under center. 
Here's the snap. Fakes the handoff. Here comes the pressure. Odell rolling to the right, looking for some someone to pass to, and it is incomplete. Probably should have been picked off by Bryles. The pass intended for Albright in the right corner of the end zone. Fortunately for Rochester, it is incomplete. You know, I think if the offensive line would held just gave Odell just a couple more seconds, I think he would have tucked it and ran. He was definitely being chased. He was running for his life. Second and 10 from the 11 of the Plymouth Rockies for Rochester. Under a minute now to play in the first half. Going to our right, the Rochester Zebras are. Plymouth leading 21 to 6. That Nimrod, split left. Shally split to the near side. Split backs for Odell. On second and 10 from the 11, Odell with the snap. Back to pass. Three step drop. Here comes the pressure. He is sacked. He about lost the ball, but he's able to hold on to it. And now Zayner trying to get a timeout as the clock runs. Nobody's seeing the coach Zayner on the sideline. And about 10 seconds ran off there before anybody realized what was going on. So we're going to take a 60-second timeout, 46 seconds to go in the first half. Plymouth leads 21-6. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. NFL Red Zone. It's an out-of-body, all-encompassing, guide and woke up in football heaven experience. Red Zone whips around every NFL game on Sunday afternoons, delivering the touchdowns and most exciting moments as they happen and in high definition. When a team goes inside the 20-yard line, NFL Red Zone takes fans there. The channel keeps fans up to date in real time, switching from game to game with live look-ins, highlights, and a chance to see the key plays. NFL Red Zone delivers more than just live game action. Watch the NFL Red Zone channel for the -the up-to-the-minute fantasy stats, extended highlights, and much more. Get ready for football by calling RTC and subscribing to the NFL Red Zone. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 46 seconds to play in the first half. Plymouth leading 21-6. Rochester looking at third down and 15. And in the shotgun formation is Odell. Odell wasn't ready for the snap, picks it up. Throws it. It is complete to Hattishell. Hattishell then gets it down to the four-yard line. A pickup. Right around 10 yards? Uh, well, it'll be more than that. It'll be about uh, 12 yards, 13 yards. And now Coach Zayner will use a final timeout to bring up fourth down and about three from the four-yard line as John O'Dell is getting the play set. Just to re- kind of recap what happened there, we'll keep it right here on that t- this timeout. Odell had two right receivers to both sides. As he was looking up and down the line of scrimmage, he was snapped the football. Fortunately, it hit him in the face mask. Fell right in front of him. He was able to pick it up, get it to Hallishell, who Hallishell then took the pass after about five yards and ran it for near 10. And got it down inside the five to around the three, and that's going to bring up fourth and three for the Zebras. Now out of timeouts with 27 and a half seconds of play in the first half. That was a mess. That was a mess, but Odell was able to just uh, able to get that ball off and how Howden- 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 made a play out of it. But now <laughs> let's see, you can get a first down, but it's going to be what at the one yard line. Yeah. So you, obviously fourth, fourth pretty much two. that play was fourth and goal. Well, that's right. With no timeouts and 27 seconds to play in the first half, you're right. Ball spotted at the Plymouth three. It's fourth down and a long two for the Zebras. Odell breaks the huddle. It's in Shally wide to the near side, which is the wide side of the field. Bet Nimrod split left. The lone back is Screeton. Odell under center. Fourth and two from the three. Here's a snap, back to pass, looking right, throwing right, complete touchdown to Kennedy. Wow, what a rocket. Odell just saw Kennedy cut out, and he was able to put enough muster on the ball, and Kennedy held on. A two-yard touchdown pass from John Odell to Luke Kennedy, and the Zebras' will, offense will stay on the field for the two-point conversion. Trying to go for two here. Odell missed the first extra point. Must pretty good uh, two-minute drill executed there by the Z's. 22 seconds to play in the first half. Back to pass is Odell. Two-point conversion. Lobs it up for Kennedy. He Got it. has it, but a flag in the play. Will that be pass interference? Well, actually, the Rock, Plymouth Rockies came up with the ball. And Z 
zebras are clapping. Could be pass interference. It'll be pass interference on the Rockies. So Rochester will get another opportunity. That time Odell just had to get rid of that before I think he was ready to because of the pressure coming from his backside. He, he lofted it up there. Kennedy made a great play on the ball. Just wasn't able to come up uh, uh, with the loose ball. But uh, pass interference on the Rockies is going to get another shot at this. <clears throat> So it'll be another two-point conversion opportunity for the Zebras here, trailing right now 21 to 12, 22 seconds to play in the first half. And Shally now coming out of the football game. Basham brings the play in from the sideline. 21 to 12 Rockies. Zebras come to the uh, line of scrimmage. Kennedy tight right. But Nimrod tight left, full house backfield behind Odell. John with six on the play clock, takes the snap, back to pass. Actually, he's going to try to run himself, and he's going to be hauled down and sacked. So the two-point conversion is no good. That's where we stand right now, 21-12. to 12. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Your Fulton County REMC is proud to offer the new Faster Exceed satellite internet service. They can now connect customers to their fastest satellite internet service ever with broadband speeds per second. For homeowners with fewer options for internet service or who live in rural areas, there's no better option than Exceed Broadband. Share photos remarkably fast. Enjoy better video chat with less jitter. Send and receive files quickly. Exceptionally fast web browsing and email. Listen to streaming music. If you're ready for a faster internet connection, you're ready for Exceed Broadband. Call 574-223-3156 today to learn more about the amazingly fast Exceed Broadband service offered by your local Fulton County REMC, your touchstone energy provider. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. In the first half, Plymouth leading 21 to 12, and Odell will kick off. Plymouth has all three of their timeouts left. Back deep is Brook and also Ruffing. Probably just a scoop kick right down the middle, Moss. I would think. Odell ready. Approaches the ball. It is a high end over end kick. Ruffing takes it at the 12. And now we're going to have an offside. Stoppage. <laughs> Sometimes it's almost like watching the college officials at the NFL game. <laughs> so Odell will back it up five. We'll kick for now from the uh, 35 yard line. Well, with those uh, NFL negotiations, we might see these guys here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the first week. Yeah, officiating the uh, uh-huh. NFL guys. <laughs> Northwestern leads North Miami at halftime, 14 to seven. Odell ready again. The lights coming on now at Barnhart Field. There's a sun setting. Ruffing, and also Brook back deep to receive the kick. But down there is a low liner and picked up by the Rockies at the 34, so that's where Plymouth will start here with 21 seconds to play in the first half. So again, coming up at the break, the Pats Landing Pizza and Grill halftime show here on WROI. You want to stick, uh, stay close to that? Because Sam Stevens has put up a monster first half. Sam Stevens has had a monster game if he stopped now. A couple carries here will put him over uh, 100 yards here in the first half. I have a feeling the next couple carries will probably go into him. Don't forget, Plymouth won the toss, deferred, and they will get the football first here in the second half. Looks like they'll run a play here with 21 seconds to play in the first half. Twins of the near side, two receivers of the near side for the Rockies. Lacefield under center. Back to pass is Lacefield. Plenty of time. Looks left, throws left. It is complete and complete. I make that picked off by Met Nimrod. Ransom Met Nimrod picked it off. And now Rochester has it at the Plymouth 46 yard line. Wasn't even close to receiver. And Met Nimrod with a second pick of the game. Good job by him. He was just able to undercut that little route there. The ball was underthrown and he was able to get it. And he was tripped up a little bit or he would have got a little bit more uh, return after the interception. Gotta tell you, I'm kind of surprised they ran a play. Just saying, I'm surprised they threw the ball. 
Very true. 13.8 to play in the first half. Rochester football now after the pick by Bet Nimrod at the Plymouth 46-yard line going to our right. Bet Nimrod and Shally split to the near side. That's Kennedy out here. Oh, Kennedy, okay. Back to pass is Odell. Odell throws it down the near side looking for Shally. It is going to be picked off. And Plymouth has it up the near sideline. Still on his feet at the 35, the 40. Now he's got some room in the middle of the field at the 45, the 50. Gets it back to the near side. He's on his way. One man to beat is Odell, and Odell finally brings him down. But Garrett, he's the one that picked it off and returned it back to his to Rochester 30, make that 28-yard line. A huge return on the interception by Garrett. Tell you what, Carter Street took a lick. And that'll do it. The clock ran out in that mess. At halftime, Plymouth leads 21 to 12. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. This is Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Ready for the third quarter here at Barnhart Field. The Zebras will kick to the Rockies to start things here in the third. Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. John O'Dell will kick. Going to our left. Back deep is roughing. And also... Brooke for the Rockies. 21 to 12 as the third quarter is underway. It's a high end over end kick. Ruffing takes it at the 10, at the 20, at the 25, right up the middle. Shakes one tackler, falls across the 35, gets to near the 39 yard line. So a fabulous return by Ruffing. And the Rockies start in very good field position here in the second half. They're going to start right on the 39 yard line. Rockies will be going to our right. Good to see Ken Hughes on the sideline. Yeah, I saw him down there. He was uh, helping some of the linemen earlier, and uh, it's uh, great to have him back. Absolutely. So Lacefield brings the group to the line of scrimmage. And new look here for the Rockies as they start the full house backfield here. And it looks like Smith gets the carry. It's across the 40, down to around the 43, 44 yard line. It's a pile down there. Stevens on the run. What did I say? Smith. By Smith? You said Smith. I, I didn't see a whole Smith on the roster, but I, I wasn't going to correct you. <laughs> four, four yards. Stevens on the run. Four yards on the game. <laughs> Jay is with a stop for the Zebras. And that puts him over 100 yards for the day. And he gets four on the pickup. It'll be second and six. I believe DeAndre Pickford in the backfield. He's in there as a fullback. Stevens again across the 45 to about the 46 or 7. Just chipping away out of here. He brings up third and short for Plymouth. Under a minute, uh, th- 11 minutes to play in the third quarter. Three-yard gain going to make it third and three. And De- DeAndre Pickford uh, uh, back here the second half. And just from what you said, Must on the defensive side as a, as a defensive end, he's a pretty aggressive ball player. <laughs> yeah, I guess his motor never stops, and he's a wild man is what I've been told. Ball at the uh, Plymouth 47-yard line, third down and three. Stevens again, left side of the uh, line, gets to midfield. He's going to get four on the carry, and it's going to give him a first down. Giving him enough for a first down ball right at midfield of ten and a half to play. And the two fullbacks, uh, Pickford and uh, Sampson, out of the game. So probably no more full house backfield here for the Rockies. Brooke come wide to the near side. Ryle split left. Stevens still in the backfield. For Kramer and roughing behind him. Roughing comes in motion to the near side on the option. Sam Stevens and Gins over the right side of the line. Going to get four on that, Gary? Mm. Give him three. He'll be at the 47. Uh, yeah, almost four. We're going to say second and seven now for Plymouth. Again, going to our right. Second down and seven for the Rockies. 
Lace Field flips it out to McCramer. McCramer on the left side, cuts it upfield, got the first down, and his shoestring tackled as he gets close to the Rochester 35-yard line. A great read by Lace Field, and McCramer did the rest. Yeah, McCramer did, uh, did, got the good big gain there, about 11 or 12 yards, but a good pitch there by Lace Field, put it right on the numbers. Oh, actually gets out to a 39. I guess is where he was tackled, regardless, first and 10 for the Rockies. Now in Rochester territory with nine and a half to play in the third quarter. Plymouth up 21 to 12. Ball spot on the far hash. Bryles and Brooke come wide to the near side. Got 10 on the play clock. Lacefield sets the line of scrimmage on first down. On the option again, he keeps it around the near side. He fakes the pitch, keeps his feet, falls forward, and gets positive yards out of nothing. And it's going to be third, uh, make that second, and about seven or eight. Tell you what, we got the first first hit on him behind the line of scrimmage. He's able to, to shake, and it took two more Z's uh, to come and get him. Give him two. It'll be second down and eight with nine minutes to play in the third quarter. Ball about in the middle of the field. A wide out to the near side for Plymouth is Brook. Ruffin comes in motion to the near side. Gives her Kramer on the end around going left. He is stacked up. A hit behind the line of scrimmage and brought down. Good job by the Z. I didn't get to see who got the first hit on him. That's going to bring up third down and about 11 after a three-yard loss for the Rockies. I think Tyler Downauer is the first guy to put a lick on him. Ball back now at the 41-yard line of the Rockies. 8.20 to play in the third quarter. Plymouth leading 21 to 12. Third and long here. Big uh, big down here for the Z's. We need to stop. And they're looking at third down and 11. Placefield back to pass. Looking right. Here comes the pressure. On the screen. Gives to McCramer. McCramer's hit and dropped for no yards. In fact, he's going to lose a couple of yards. Heckathorn in on the tackle there. He was the first one. And Heckathorn able to, uh, to get him down, get the big guy down. And now we're going to have... Uh, I think we're going to have a little uh, activity have, after the play. Dual unsportsmanlike. Yeah, Coach shoot. Reaver grabs the young man by the uh, collar. Coach Weaver uh, liked the addition to him to the coach and staff this year, helping with the strength and conditioning. And that so, should be offside, offsetting penalties. Yeah, it'll be unsportsmanlike on Plymouth, unsportsmanlike on Rochester. It'll be fourth down. It'll be fourth down at about 13 now for the Rockies back at their own 43-yard line. But again, that uh, you can't uh, forget about that tackle by Heckathorn there in the open field, Mus. Absolutely. He wasn't fooled at all by that screen. No, he stayed at home, and he's a little bit undersized there, but able to bring McCramer down. I like it. Ty Holland back deep to receive the punt, but the quarterback is the punter. And we saw this as the first series of the game for Plymouth. They're looking at fourth and 13. Lacefield facing the shotgun formation. And they're going to go for it. Back three, throws left. He's got a receiver. It is complete. Uh -huh. Complete the roughing as he gets inside the 20-yard line, the 15-yard line, near the 14. It'll be first down for the Rockies. Wow, that's a tough one. Spot on the near side is the 13, roughing with a huge catch for the uh, Rockies. A nice throw by Lacefield. Is that 24 in the game? Okay. Close enough. Seven and a half to play in the third quarter. Plymouth just picked up a huge fourth down and a 13. And now they've got the football inside the Rochester 15. In fact, they got it at the 13. Lacefield. To Stevens. And ball, get a ball, ball. And the Zebras recover it. A mix up between Lacefield and Stevens. The ball came out. The Zebras dodge a huge bullet. Tyler Downauer comes up with the loose ball. That is a big stop by the Zebra D. We needed that, much. A bend and no bring mentality right there on that first series of the second half with the Zebra defense. And they come up with a huge turnover and will start at their own 11 yard line, now going to our left. Another good job by Patrick Kays there, the uh, the defensive lineman. He was able to get in there and 
not to make that exchange very smooth between the two. And Patrick Hayes will come back into the game and play offense here with 7.13 to play in the first, uh, make that the third quarter. The Zebras break the huddle with 10. But Nimrod wide to the near side. Shally split right. Odell under center with five, with four. On the option, first man through is Screeton. He carries the, the pile to about the 14-yard line, giving him three. It'll be second down and seven. Under seven minutes to play in the third quarter. Sheldon Albright brings the play in from the uh, sideline. Odell. We'll send Albright and Hattishell wide to the near side. Kennedy and Shally split right. In the shotgun formation is Odell. Screeton to his right. Screeton gets a fake. Odell keeps it. Nice step on with Kramer. Still on his feet. And spins around. And might have got to the 16-yard line. Not a lot there. It'll bring up third down. And near uh, five, five or six for the Zebras. That give him two on the game. Uh, give him, so third and four. Third and yeah. Ball at the 17-yard line with 6.15 to play. In the third quarter again, Plymouth leading 21 to 12. Been a quick third quarter so far. Ball on the far hash. Plymouth hash. Shally comes split to the near side. Bet Nimrod, wide right, eye backs for Odell on third down and four. Odell fakes the handoff, back to pass, three-step drop, throws right. It is incomplete. All over Plymouth him. is draped all over, over Bet Nimrod and no call. Coach Zaner's out almost to the hash to the numbers. Everybody on the field except for the far official saw that one, and it's going to bring up fourth and four. You know, the only argument he had there, the ball was thrown a little bit in front of him, but it was still catchable because he could have he laid out and got that. So Patrick Hayes will drop back to kick the ball away. And Dakota Brook back deep for Plymouth to receive the punt. Hayes will kick at about his own five. Needs a good punt here. Clean snap. Hayes gets it away. Wobbly kick. Takes a Rochester bounce. Picked up by Brooke at the 45, around the left end. He's got some blockers in front of him at the 40. They're flagging the play at the 35. Carries the ball inside the Rochester 35 to around the 32. But, like I said before, there is a flag on the play. Could be holding or blocking the back. Could be the only two calls that should be in that area. Blocking the back. So five and a half minutes to play in the third quarter. Again, Plymouth still leading 21 to 12. The penalty is against Plymouth. It is a block at the back. Should be 15 yards. No, so 10. Plymouth will start still in pretty good field position at the Rochester 42-yard line. 42-yard line here for the Rockies. You, uh, I got a feeling they're just going to smash the ball right up the middle. I don't think that you could probably say that. For certain, can you? Well, I, I thought they would run it there at the end of the first half. They didn't, did they? Exactly. But I'm going to say it again. Ball on the far hash. Well, the only you be is wrong. That's right. Ball on the far hash, which is the Plymouth sideline. They break the huddle to send two to the near side, which is Bryles. And also Brooke. Ruffing is the full uh, the uh, tailback who gets the pitch, but the play is going to be whistled dead before it even gets going because the Rochester, I believe, was offside. It'll bring up first down and five, I would think. We'll wait for the official call, but it looked like a slew of zebra defenders jumped. They will be. However, I got to give this official credit. I can hear him without even having a mic on. That's can you hear him? That's because nobody's cheering. Well, still, how many times you hear a high school referee make the call if you're not on the sideline? Good talking to you. First and five <laughs> for Plymouth. Now at the Rochester 37. Ruffing comes in motion. Same play. Gets the pitch at the 35. Comes to your side of the 30. Dives forward to the 25. And that's going to be, well, they're going to give him the 25, maybe the 24 and a half, regardless about a 12 yards in the pickup. I tell you what, and there, uh, Rhett Lee was uh, was just getting uh, 
I'm sorry, Braxton Lee was just getting held pretty good there. It'll be first and ten for the Rockies at the Rochester 24 with five minutes to play in the first half. Rockies come to the line of scrimmage. Friles and Brooke goes left. Stevens, who hasn't touched the ball a whole lot here in this third quarter, in the backfield with McCramer and also Ruffing. Down to 10 on the play clock. Lays field with plenty of time. Looking over the sideline, has instructions. Now down to four on the play clock. Now under center with three. And everybody moves but Lacefield, basically. <laughs> Should take him back five? <laughs> you would think. So it's going to be false start on the offense. So it'll be first down and 15 with four and a half to play in the third quarter. Again, Plymouth leading 21 to 12. Ball back at the 29. Austin Shepard, I'm David Muslim, and the New Beyond Pizza Trivia question come up after this one. One meeting, one topping. You can't win? I can't win? You can't. You're no fun. Plymouth and Lacefield send two receivers to the left side, which is the wide side of the field. They're on the near hash with six on the play clock. The Kramer goes in motion left. On the option, Lacefield keeps it, ducks a tackler, cuts it upfield, upended then at the 20. So he's going to pick up nine, actually, the official on this side. is going to give him the 19. We'll see where they mark the ball for sure. I think it was right at the 19, or the 19 and a half. Give him 10. It'll be second down and five on the quarterback keeper, who was ducked under a tackler in the backfield. Yeah, good move by Lacefield there, able to juke his way out of there and pick up a good, good chunk of that uh, first down that he needed. Got the penalty back. 3.35 to play in the third. Plymouth breaks huddle with 11 on the play clock. Brooke wide to the near side. Bryles split left from the Rochester 19. On the option again. Lacefield keeps it, and this time he's hit and wrapped up after a gain of about one. It'll bring up third down and a five. Down hour in again on the tackle. He had him stop behind the line of scrimmage, but the pile kind of fell forward, and that's what he gave him the yard. Pioneer leads Winnemac after three, 35 to nothing. Under three minutes to play in the third. Plymouth has had the football majority of this quarter. They lead 21 to 12. Still taking time off the clock as Lacefield. We're down to 10 on the play clock. Pitch going left. And the running back going left. Drudge picks up plenty for a first down and has ran out of bounds at about the nine-yard line of the Rochester Zebras. Justin Drudge. A 5'11 sophomore for the Rockies. Got that carry. Give him 10 on the carry. 2.40 to play in the third quarter. He is still in. Right slot. Roughing left. Steven is still the fullback. Goes in motion. Is Drudge. Gets the fake. Lacefield throws. It is complete to Stevens. And Sam Stevens carries the ball. Inside the five to around the four. It's going to pick up, be a pickup of five yards. So bring up second down at the four-yard line. 2.20 to play in the third quarter. Again, Plymouth up 21 to 12. Rochester opens their conference portion of the season next week at home against the Wabash Apaches. Drudge slots back to the right. Roughing to the left against Stevens. Your fullback, two receivers to the left for Plymouth, ball in the near hash with 10 on the play clock, and now under two minutes to play in the third quarter. Lacefield taking his time, taking as much time off the clock as he can, gets the snap on the option, he keeps it. Lacefield lowers his head, gets to the three, maybe to the two, not a whole lot more there. That's going to bring up third down from the third and goal from about the two-yard line for the Rockies with a minute 40 to play in the third. Good stop there by Cyrus Holland, able to uh, stop him right in the tracks. Third and goal from the two for the Rockies with 90 seconds to play in the third quarter. Drudge, Stevens, and Ruffing in the backfield for Lacefield, left or right or left. From the two, must snap. Lacefield just falls forward to make something out of nothing. 
No signal yet as a touchdown. He does get to the goal line. Gonna it's going to be fourth and inches, fourth and goal from about the one-foot line. And here comes the two fullbacks. Pickford coming back in, and also is uh, Sampson. Under 50 to play. By the way, two fullbacks. They both go 6'1", 240. 19 on the play clock. Down to 38 on the game clock. Full house backfield for the Rockies. Down to 10. Fourth and goal from the one. Bumble, down. bumble. Lacefield trying to get over the goal line, and he does. The ball hit the ground. Lacefield picks it up and just pushes his way in and touchdown Rockies. He had those two fullbacks pushing him there in the backfield. He uh, didn't get a good clean uh, hand on the snap, but able to get over the pile for the touchdown. Kyle Lacefield carries it in from one yard out to make it 27 to 12, and we've got an injured zebra on the field as Christina Hughes, the trainer for Rochester, comes out to take a look at him. Again, 28 seconds to play in the third quarter. It's 27 to 12. The injured Zebra is still down. Let's take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Dean Foods have been supplying dairy products to America's table since 1925. They're proud to bring you outstanding dairy products that promote a healthy living for you and your family. Everyone needs calcium, and dairy products are the purest way to get your daily requirement. When shopping, load up on the perfect foods. Dairy products from Dean Foods, Rochester. Dean Foods, created by nature, delivered by Dean. WROI. So the injured zebra is Braxton Lee. Walks off under his own power. Plymouth, right before that, scored on a one yard touchdown run by the quarterback, Lacefield, to push the lead to 27 to 12. The extra point coming for the Rockies. Uh, we don't t- keep time of possession. We probably should there, but wow. They kept the ball a long time in the third quarter. I can only do so much, Mus. Oh, brother. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I'm sorry. That's exactly what I was thinking. I asked way too much of you, Austin. Okay. Well, I appreciate you recognizing that. 28.1 to play in the third. The extra point coming for the Rockies. Base field the holder. Snap is back, and we're going to have an offsides again on the Zebras. Offsides on the Zebra, but it was a fake. I think you're right. I think Lacefield is getting ready to take off with it. So we'll move the ball a little closer to the goal line. We'll try the extra point attempt again. 27 to 12, Plymouth. 28 seconds to play in the third. Snap is back, hold is down, kick is away. Ooh, it looks like it's sailing right, and it just did get inside the upright. 28-12 Plymouth, you're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Why do people love Nubiano's famous Italian pizza so much? It makes me happy. The gooey cheese. The hand-tossed crust. The toppings. The homemade sauce. The taste. I don't know. I just love it. Call Nubiano's at 223-4224. That's 223-4224. Dine in, carry out, and delivery is available. Don't forget, they also have delicious hot baked sandwiches and salads, too. Nubiano's Italian Pizza. 714 East 9th Street, Rochester. A Fulton County tradition since 1982. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 28 to 12. The Rockies lead now here at uh, Rochester High School with 28 seconds to play. In the third quarter, Austin Shepard, I'm David Musselman. Plymouth ate up a big chunk of change in that... uh, Rochester only had one series there in the third quarter. It was a three and out. Yeah, 12 minute quarters. So it would be fair to say that Plymouth had the ball probably 10 minutes of that. Mm hmm. Easily. 28 seconds go in the third. Plymouth will kick off. And Rochester's got to get something going in here as the third quarter winding to a close and one more to go. 
So the kick is a high end over end kick. Hecathorn going to take it at the 10. Hecathorn to the 20, the 25. Looking for the wall at the 30. Keeps his feet and falls across the 35 to around the 36. A nice hard run by Jay Hecathorn. Going to get the Zebras out by the 37. 36. Nice run back of 26 yards by Jay Heckathorn. He's had two nice run backs tonight. After three, Northwestern still leading North Miami 14 to 7. Had a shell dots the eye. Bent Nimrod wide to the near side. Shally split right from the 36. Back to pass is Odell. Looking right. Still being flushed out of the pocket. You're not going to keep it. Cuts it upfield at the 40. Lowers his head. Gets close to the 44-yard line. A nice hard run by John O'Dell. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. After three, Plymouth leads 28-12. to We'll take a 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Small business has never been easy, but H&R Block Small Business Resources, Peachtree Village Plaza, Rochester, really can help. H&R Block Small Business Resources specializes in monthly and quarterly write-ups, tax preparation, and consulting for individuals and businesses, payroll tax services, estate and financial planning, computer consulting, business startup and management consulting, and so much more. So when you need individual or business accounting, help call in the professionals at H&R Block Small Business Resources of Rochester, Peachtree Village Plaza. Call 223-3106. That's 574-223-3106. They're ready to help you and your business. This is Zebra Football. Rochester High School. The third quarter has not ended. Apparently, John O'Dell went out of bounds. There's no signal from the uh, officials to stop the clock. Well, so there's two and a half to play in the third quarter. You know, that one official that uh, is the main umpire, he's got his back to the clock. So he should know there's two seconds on the clock. Odell picked up seven. It's going to be third and three. Odell gives the pitch to Screeton. Screeton lowers his head off the left side. He's got the 50. In the play with territory at about the 48-yard line. Nice hard run by Carter Screeton, and that will bring the third quarter to the close. 28-12 Plymouth. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. We wish we would have called sooner. At Hope Hospice, we are humbled by this often heard comment. However, we also wish we would have been there earlier to help. The people that we serve benefit from nursing visits in their home and yet can continue to see their physician if they and their physician so choose. They will receive needed equipment and medications for their qualifying condition all at no cost to them. And spiritual and bereavement support are available for both them and their loved ones. Give us a call at 224-HOPE or visit us online at hopehospicefc.com and allow us to begin helping today. WROI Rochester. Your Fulton County REMC is proud to offer the new Faster Exceed Satellite Internet Service. They can now connect customers to their fastest satellite internet service ever with broadband speeds up to 12 megabytes per second. For homeowners with fewer options for internet service or who live in rural areas, there's no better option than Exceed Broadband. Share photos remarkably fast. Enjoy better video chat with less jitter. Send and receive files quickly. Exceptionally fast web browsing and email. Listen to streaming music. If you're ready for a faster internet connection, you're ready for Exceed Broadband. Call 574-223-3156 today to learn more about the amazingly fast Exceed Broadband service offered by your local Fulton County R. EMC, your touchstone energy provider. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Back at Barnhart Field as we start the fourth quarter. Carter Screen carries a football, and he's hurt. And it looks like, well, I'm not even going to, uh, I'm not going to tell you because I'm not sure exactly what, uh, he's not holding anything, but he's down. After he got about four yards in the pickup, it'll be second down and six. Christina Hughes back on the field along with Coach Zayner. 11.43 to play. And he's up. He'll walk off over under his own power. Limping? I don't, no, he's fine. 28-12. Plymouth on top. Rochester need to put a, dri- a bunch of gri- drives together here, uh, here in the fourth quarter. Second down and six from the Plymouth 44-yard line. Shally goes split left. Two tight ends for the Zebras. Split backs for 
Odell fakes the handoff, back to pass, looking left, throwing in the direction of Peyton Shally. It is complete, and there's a flag of the play. Shally takes it down to the inside the Plymouth 15-yard line, and we might have, we're going to have a personal foul on Pickford. After the play, he threw Basham to the ground. After the play was out of his area, let me rephrase that. So this should be, this will be what, half the distance to the goal, the goal line, correct, since we're inside the 20? So it was a huge play from the 44 down to around uh, maybe 12. the 4- okay, 12-yard line. So a 32-yard pitch and catch from Odell to Peyton Challey, who's had a monster night. So has John Odell. And so the ball after the penalty goes down to the 6 of Plymouth with 11.24 to play in the third quarter. And again, the personal foul was on uh, 49, DeAndre Pickford. He said his motor always goes, and it was. <laughs> this is his, this is the uh, just come off of a suspension or whatever. He's able to play this half. So Rochester with the ball in the far half has hash that is has it first and goal from the six yard line with a full house backfield behind Odell. Oh, almost a false start on the Zebras. Odell. Gives to Hattershell, left side. Jacob Hattershell looking for the end zone. And gets in. Post. Touchdown, Zebras. Good job by Jacob Hattershell. The line got some penetration there on the defense and able to get in for the score. Six-yard uh, run for Jacob Hattershell. With 11-18 to play in the fourth quarter, Rochester cuts the lead to 10. They're going to have to go for two here, Muss. Rochester will go for the two-point conversion the way it looks. The offense will stay on the field. Shy wide of the near side, split backs for Odell, two tight ends. Creighton in motion to the near side. Back to passes Odell. Here comes the pressure from the back side. Throws it up in the middle of the field. It is complete. And another late hit. We're going to have another penalty on Pickford. The two-point conversion is good. Odell's down. Odell is down. And it is 28 to 20. Odell is limping on the right leg. He got Pickford, another, uh, Pickford another penalty. How many how many purse fives you can let the kid get in 30 seconds? Let's uh, let's take a timeout. 30 second break for right now. John is 28 to 20. Rochester, you're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Stop in to Braun Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram of Winnemac during the summer clearance event for huge savings. Save big on the new 2012 Dodge Durango Citadel. It comes completely loaded and is available in black and chrome. This one is a must see. And Jeep lovers, check out the gorgeous Jeep Cherry Red 2012 Jeep Wrangler Sport with trailer tow. Available now during the summer clearance event at Braun. Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram on US 35 South in Winnemac. Online at wrongchryslerdodgejeep.com. This is Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. It was a personal foul on the Rockies. John O'Dell was helped he off the field. The field being helped down to the bench here. It looked like he hurt his right ankle. So there goes the quarterback for right now and the kicker. And it looks like now Rochester will turn over the kickoff duties to James Dishman. 28-20. Plymouth on top at 11-18 to play in the uh, football game. Rochester's cut this to a one score. And you're right, they are attending to that right ankle. Hopefully get that shoe off, get it uh, rewrapped a little bit, a little support. Hopefully he can come out for the rest of the rest of the uh, football game. He's moving it around. Although they will be a uh, zebras be kicking off from the Plymouth <laughs> 45, 45 now, yard line, yeah, uh, with the 15 yard personal yep. foul. The roughing stands at his goal line. It's a one possession football game right now. Rochester's cut this lead to eight after the two point conversion. From Odell to Kennedy. The ankle brace is off of that right foot. The shoe is off, and they're going to attend to it. 
Looks like Christina Hughes getting some tape. Tape it tight enough, I won't even feel it. There you go. Just nerves. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so James Dishman do kick for the Zebras. Short end over end kick. That's going to hit the turf and checks up. Ball. Picked up by Ruffing. And Ruffing is going to be brought down shy of the 20. Nice gang tackling that time of the Zebras. <laughs> is going to start on 18 or 19 yard line here. 11-11 uh, to play in the game. 28-20. to 20. Play Start on their own 19. Plymouth on top. Pioneers lead is now 35-7 to 7 over the Winnemac Warriors. Field to the line of scrimmage. Stevens, who's been quiet in this half, behind him. Drudge gets the snap and the pitch going this way. Drudge lowers his head, and there's a is a fumble. Ball is fumble. loose. Fumble's loose. Ball's loose. Zebra got it. And zebra the ball. Signaling. No signal yet from the officials. It was zebra ball. I saw a zebra with the ball. And, and zebra ball. Has it. Zebras recover at the. 55 yard line. Odell is, Odell is still on the bench with the ice on his foot. Christina Hughes is taping it. Who's the quarterback now? Uh, Cyrus Holland, wouldn't it be? And I tell you what, uh, yeah, I, I'm a never mind. Pickford back in the game. So Cy Holland will be the quarterback here for the Rochester Zebras. Holland is a 5'10 junior for Rochester, and he brings the club to the line of scrimmage. First down and 10 for the Zebras at the Plymouth 25-yard line near hash. Bet Nimrod wide to the near side. Shally the spot back to the right, and now we're going to have a Plymouth timeout. We're going to take a 60-second break. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Coca-Cola Bottling Company of Plymouth wants you to enjoy your world, especially now that football season has returned and the weather is cooler. So for tailgating or just in front of the TV, enjoy the good times with fans. Family and friends. Grab the refreshingly clean taste of Coca-Cola, Diet Coke, Coke Zero, Sprite, and Sprite Zero. When you get everyone together for exciting times, make sure you have plenty of terrific Coca-Cola products on hand. Whether it's the store or the vending machine, Coca-Cola products go great with anything you do. It's the real thing. It's Coca-Cola. Being a parent has never been tougher. Life just offers too many choices and temptations. Many families find help by becoming affiliated with friends at their place of worship, and that is a great help. If if you find your life is offering more questions than answers, why not join us at Grace United Methodist Church? We have services on Saturday at 5.30 p.m. and Sunday at 9.30 a.m. Child care is provided at those services. Our church is located at 7th and Jefferson Streets in Rochester. We welcome you to become a part of our church family. Zebra Football. back to Rochester High School. The Zebras, after the Plymouth timeout, have the ball first and 10 after a fumble uh, by the Plymouth Rockies at the Plymouth 25-yard line. Odell's getting his shoe back on. He is tying it as we speak. So does the Rochester Zebras run one and let John come back in? I think we're going to run one play here with Cy Holland at, uh, at quarterback, and then Odell sh should be back. Honestly, he hasn't stood up and put any weight on it yet, but it should be good to go. So the Zebras come to the line of scrimmage. Ball in the near hash. Ty Holland comes to the line of scrimmage, two tight ends. But Nimrod left, Kennedy right. The flanker to the near side is Shally. Split backs behind Holland. Gives to Hattachel. Jake Hattachel is hit at the tw uh, 25, falls forward to maybe the 23. Is going to be a pickup of two. John O'Dell just now getting the shoe on the right foot. So it'll be second down and eight with 10.45 to play in the game. Plymouth leads 28 to 20. Sheldon Albright brings in the play to Cy Holland. So Holland brings the club to the line of scrimmage with 19 on the play clock. They're also taping his wrist. Sheldon comes split to the near side. Albright, that is. 
There's a pitch to Screeton. Carter inside the tackle. Gets inside the 20. Down to around the 18. Give him the 17-yard line. Good hard run there by Screeton. He took about two or three contact uh, from the Rockies before he went down. Give him uh, five on the carry. It'll be close to a third down and two now for Rochester with 10 minutes to play in the football game. Rochester trailing by eight here to the Plymouth Rockies. Give him six on the carry. Odell, Odell now down here uh, throwing with Coach Hooker on the sideline. Testing out that right ankle, which obviously is the plain ankle. Doesn't look oh, good. Geez, it doesn't look good, does it? No. Third and two. Here's the pitch to Streeton. Carter Streeton left side is stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing. It's going to be fourth down. And don't forget, the field goal kicker is standing on the sideline here. Can barely stand. Yeah. Cy Hollis does have a little bit of experience at quarterback. He's been the JV quarterback last year. Almost a throwing situation here by the yeah. Zebras, fourth and three. Northfield leads Triton in the fourth quarter, 32 to 14. And uh, Christina Hughes just went and talked to Odell, and she's walking away. It doesn't look good. Fourth and three. Holland back to pass, rolls to the near side, steps up and then falls. The Kramer will be recorded the sack. And Plymouth will take over on downs back at their own about 27-yard line with 8.57 to play in the football game, leading 28-20. to 20. Need another defensive stand here by the Z's. Yeah. 28-20 Plymouth. Austin Shepard, I'm David Muslim, and don't forget the Nubiana Street of Trivia question coming up here after this one. The conference opener next week here at Barnhart Field of the Wabash Apaches. Plays field under center at his own 27-yard line. Up by eight. Here's the play. Gives to Stevens. He stopped. And Stevens is stacked up. And that time there was a little miscommunication again between Stevens and Lovelace. Stevens wanted the ball. I don't think Lovelace wanted to or make that left field wanted to give it to him. No gain on the play. And lucky they held on to it. Man, they're going to give him a yard. West Central leads Casson with nine minutes to play in the game, 41-13. to 13. And Bus, by the way, looks I think Odell's done for the game. Oak Hill leads Southwood, 61-14. to 14. It doesn't look good, does it? No. Second down and nine for the Rockies. McCramer comes in motion to the near side, fakes the pitch. Left field just flips it out to complete to that far side to Stevens. And Sam Stevens on the far side. And Sheldon Albright saves a touchdown by going low and taking his feet out from underneath him, but not until he gets out to about the Rochester 45-yard line. Not even the 45. Give him about the 41. A huge gain for the Plymouth Rockies. A little flip to Sam Stevens. He carried out to the Rochester 40 three-yard line with eight minutes to play in the football game. Plymouth up by eight at 28 to 20. Just under eight to play in the game. About a 30-yard gain there for Stevens. We're down to five on the play clock. Plymouth's going to have to hurry to get this one off. Down to three, down to two, down to one. And Lacefield gets it off on the option. He takes it, switches directions, now goes back to the right. He is hit by Holland. Got two and flags on the play. Driven down by Jay Heckathorn as Holland stood him up. He got seven on the play. We'll check the flags. Oh. Too many men in motion, maybe, by the Rockies? Well, that play didn't start out real good. You know, they broke the huddle about four on the play clock. I think it's going to be legal motion. You are on it. What can I say? So Adele took, took sock and shoe back off. I'm sure Christina Hughes elevating. She's going to go get some ice for him. So after the... Uh, Penalty against Plymouth. It'll back him up five, so it'll be first and 15 back at the Rochester 47-yard line. So 
So Lacefield with Stevens behind him. Under center. 7.20 to play in the game. Rochester down by eight. On the option, Lacefield keeps it. And he is drugged down from behind, but not until he gets inside the Rochester 45-yard line. He's going to pick up five, got the penalty back. Manchester leads Bluffton 22-20. to Appreciate Scott Wortley for giving that to us. Under seven to play in the game. Plymouth leads 28 to 20. And in motion comes McCramer. First man through is Stevens. Sidesets a couple of tacklers and gets down close to the 36. He's going to pick up uh, seven on the carry for Stevens. That's his 18th carry of the game. Puts him right at 120 yards on the ground for the senior fullback. Going to bring up third and three, third and four. Unfortunately, though, clock is rolling. We're down to 6.20 to play in the game. Ball spotted at the Rochester 36-yard line. Ball in the middle of the field. Wide out to both sides for the Rockies. Kramer and Drudge, the slot backs. Ball, 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 ball. Ball still loose. There's going to be a scramble for it. I know Steven set right on top of it, and the back official said that the uh, Plymouth is going to get it. Retain possession. They're going to lose a little yards. It's going to be fourth down and about four now for the Rockies under six to play in the game. And we haven't seen them punt all game, though, so. Yeah. Even when they were in their own territory. And they will go for it here at the Rochester 37-yard line. 5.55 to play in the game. Plymouth leads 28-20. to 20. Stevens in the backfield by himself. Lace field. Stevens. Stop he him. Stop top of the line of scrimmage. He gets one, and Rochester going to take over on downs. I tell you what, good job there by Braxton Lee coming through, getting the first initial hit. Big stop there from the Z's. And that'll bring Cy Holland back on the field. You were just joining us. Plymouth, DeAndre Pickford committed his second personal foul penalty. And at the same time, knocked John O'Dell out of the game. He is sitting on the bench with ice on his right ankle. First and 10 for the Zebras at their own 35-yard line. Shally wide to the near side. But Nimrod's tight left. Kennedy tight right. Eye backs for Holland. Sigh under center. How to shell. Left side. Jacob How to shell. Slips down as he crosses the 40 and gets to about the 42. I, I tell you what. Uh, the left side, the short side of the field. Quick snap. How to shell. Picking his way through traffic. Pushing the, uh, ahead the line. The line ahead, I guess I should say. Across the 45 to near the 46. That's going to be close to a zebra first down. I think he's going to be about a. Well, should be right on the line. Should be first down. To give him four on the pickup. Northfield defeated and make that Northwestern defeated North Miami tonight, 14 to seven. Uh, <laughs> beg your pardon, 28 to seven. Pick for their lobbying with the official. I don't think he's got any pull right now. I, I, I probably agree with that. It's like comical. Holland ready from his 46. How to shell again, left side and pushes a pile forward to about the 48-49 yard line. Give him two. I think Rochester's winning the war up front right now. Right now we are. We got a little extra pep in our step here in the fourth quarter. It's good to see. Give him the 48. Give him three. Second down and seven. Albright brings the play in from the line of, from the sideline. 4.15 to play in the game. Plymouth leading 28 to 20. Holland re- breaks the huddle. With 20 on the play clock, he'll send Shally wide to the near side. I believe Albright split left. Split backs for Holland. Kennedy tight right. Second down and seven. Holland back to pass. Right over the middle to Kennedy. And Sam Stevens didn't get a hand on it, but he did run interference enough. I think that Kennedy lost the side of that ball just for a split second, and it falls to the ground. It'll be third down and seven. Good thrown ball there by Cy Holland. Had a little zip to it as well. 3.55 to play in the game. 
Rochester through the football at their own 48-yard line going to our right. Shally, Kennedy will go split left. Uh, beg your pardon, Kennedy will be tight to the left. But Nimrod tight to the right. Eye backs for Cy Holland. On third and seven, here's the pitch to Hattershell, who gets oh. the to Shally, and Shally boots it. It's loose, but uh, Peyton Shally does get the football back. But he recovers back at his own 36-yard line, so it'll be fourth down and long now for Rochester. Tell you what, that we ran that play earlier, and uh, Peyton Shally almost took it uh, in for pay there at that time. Wasn't a good exchange between the two. Take a big loss. I have to punt the ball away here. 3.27 to play in the game, 28-20, Plymouth. And Patrick Hayes will drop back to keep the ball away. And the receiver back to receive this will be Dakota Brook. He stands at his own 35. Patrick Hayes, a high snap, brings it down, gets it away. It's a wobbly kick, and it's picked up by Brook on a fair catch. So Plymouth will start at about their own 35-yard line. Pioneer defeated Winamac tonight, 42-14. to Northfield up on Triton, 32-20. to Our score here at Barnhart Field. It's Plymouth 28, Rochester 20. And the uh, Rockies will start at their own for 36. I think we have a, an official. I think you pulled a hammy. He's limping pretty good there. I'm serious. You know. I, I know, I, I'm not laughing at that. Oh, okay. Just, he's, he's trying to stretch it out. These guys are full of drama tonight. Stretch it out, baby. <laughs> there he goes. Now he's great, but I don't. That, you really? That's good? That's good. <laughs> better than what he had before. <laughs> That's good stuff. Three minutes to play in the game. Plymouth up 28 to 20. He's the back. He's the, I'll tell you what, if, the somebody back gets, if somebody takes off here, he is in trouble. Yeah, I'd, I'd run a go route right now. I think you could run by him right now. <laughs> That's sad. Placefield under center. Stevens workforce behind him. Here's a snap. Gives to Stevens right side. Goes back to the left. And after he carries about not eight or nine yards, Zebras finally bring him down, but not until he gets out to his own 43-yard uh, line. I tell you, what, that time he ran up the middle, and he, he was still patient running up the middle. He letting his blockers get out in front of him. A good uh, eight-yard pickup yeah. there by the, the, by the fullback. I think that Stevens can hit the hole hard if he needs to, but he's done a great job being patient. Yeah, very smart runner. Second down and two for the Rockies with 2.40 to play in the game, leading 28-20. to 20. And Lacefield, the sophomore quarterback, a second start of his career, acting like he's done this before, taking as much time off the clock as he can. Drudge gets on the counter. Drudge has a first down right up the middle. And Bet Nimrod shoestring, shoestring tackled him at about the 34-yard line. Another first down for the Plymouth Rockies. Moves the chains, clock rolls. First and 10 for the Rockies at the Rochester 44-yard line. 2.15 to play in the game. A wide out to each side for the Rockies. Left field under center. Placefield gets a snap. Pitches to Ruffin, who's going around the right side. And Ruffing picks up positive yards and goes out of bounds. He's going to get about three or four on the carry. Yeah, the side official here is marking it about the 36, 36 and a half. Give him three. Sure. Puts Plymouth over 200 yards on the ground so far this evening. Two minutes to play in the football game. Plymouth leading 28 to 20. They've got the ball at their own 42-yard line. Lacefield under center, gets a snap. Stevens shakes off one tackler, and then goes back to the right, gets close to the 39-yard line. Gosh, 
That kid was hitting the backfield again. And now we're going to have a Rochester timeout. Minute 54 to play in the game. We'll take a 60. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. New Holland Rochester has a very important question. Are you ready to harvest? They're ready with 0% financing or cash back on just about every model year 2012 tractor and hay and forage equipment from New Holland. Increase your productivity and profitability. Stop by New Holland Rochester Highway 25 South today to harvest model year in savings during the New Holland Ready to Harvest sales event going on right now. For agriculture use only, 0% finance offer subject to credit qualification. Applications of CNH Capital approval. CNH Capital standard terms and conditions apply. Down payment may be required. Certain other restrictions may apply. Offer in September 30th, 2012. See your participating New Holland dealer for details. Smith Farm Store, your friendly local hardware store, is your Holland Grill headquarters. Stop in now for a great deal on a Holland Grill. Why buy a Holland Grill? Two reasons. Great food and no flare-ups. And don't forget the accessories. Smith Farm Store has everything you need for your Holland Grill, from cleaning kits and seasoning samplers to the Holland Grill Family Cookbook. Don't buy just another grill. Get the one that has the no flare-up guarantee. Smith Farm Store of Rochester and Plymouth, your Holland Grill headquarters. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. A minute 54 to play in the game. Plymouth leading 28 to 20. And the Rockies with the football going to our left. They have a third down and five at the Rochester 39-yard line. Ball in the far hash. Latefield under center. Stevens behind him. On third down, here's a snap on the option. Gives to Stevens. Stevens drags a couple of Zebra tacklers forward. A couple of yard gain, and it's going to bring up fourth down at about three, and the Zebras will take another 60-second timeout. We will as well. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. With the new Good to Go Fuel Rewards Program, you will never pay full price for gas again. My price for gas just went down to 18 cents per gallon. I just saved 31 cents a gallon. Stop paying full price for gas with the Good to Go Fuel Rewards card. Purchase qualifying items and receive cents off per gallon of gas. Buy a cup of coffee or cappuccino, earn one cent off per gallon. Total up all these cents and that's how much you'll get off each gallon of gas you buy at participating locations. I just saved $4.50 in one fill up. From soda to energy drinks, pizza, and more. It's all stuff you were going to buy anyway. There is no limit on how much you can earn. Visit goodtogorewards.com to find participating locations in your area or download our loyalty mobile application. I saved 14 bucks this month. Want to save even more? Enroll your Good to Go Fuel Rewards card as a debit card and save 1% on all fuel purchases made at participating locations. This is Zebra Football. 47 to play in the game. Rochester make that Plymouth looking at fourth and four at the Rochester 38-yard line. And, of course, like they've done all night, they will go for it. Straight key backfield behind Lacefield. Gives to Stevens. He didn't, get he didn't get there. He didn't get it. Rochester will take over on downs at about their own 37, 36-yard line. And Sayahawa with an opportunity here to lead the Zebras down to pay dirt. With 1.43 to play in the game and one timeout left, John Dell now is standing on the sideline on crutches. Got to give it to the defense here in the fourth quarter, Mus. They've come up and, and, and really have, have limited Stevens. You know, I got a lot of his last carries for one and two yards. You know, got to give him a little credit for stepping up here in the fourth quarter. And he has basically, you know, you can't take anything away from Stevens. No, he's on a monster game. He's still at 23 carries for 135. Kennedy, Peyton, Shally, wide to the near side. That's not hauling a quarterback. That's Daniel Butler. Back to pass are the Zebras, and it is complete. That is, no, I'm sorry, it's John Hunting. John Hunting. John Hunting, a quarterback. Completes the pass to Ben Nimrod, I believe. And the ball moves to the Plymouth 40-yard line. First and 10 for the Zebras with a minute 36 to play in the game. 20, how does Shell call that? I beg your pardon. John Hunting, he's the sophomore quarterback. 5'8", 136 pounds. Clock rolls, 90 seconds to play in the game. Hunting under center, split backs behind him. Here's a snap, two-step drop, throws left, incomplete. It's all right, stops the clock. Minute 25 to play in the game. Plymouth leads 28-20, to and the Zebras have it second and 10 at the Plymouth 40-yard line. 23-yard completion there by uh, Hunting to Houghton Shell. Bet Nimrod comes back into the game, brings a play into hunting. 
Again, John Hunting, a 5'8 sophomore for the Zebras. A minute 25 to play in the game. Second and 10 for Rochester at the Plymouth 39. Shally comes wide to the near side, which is the wide side of the field. Out of the shotgun is Hunting. Fakes the throw, gives the Haddish out the middle. Haddish right. runs into the official. Haddish then spun down by Stevens yeah. at the 38. And, and now Coach Zane, Zane will take his out. final timeout. Rochester uses his final timeout, a minute 14 to play in the game. You're listening to Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. Come check out the amazing deals at the Winning Edge in Rochester. With the fall sports season here, they have all the gear you need. The August specials, 25% off all girls softball cleats, 25% off football cleats, 10% off backpacks, and a free pair of Adidas Duramo slip-ons with the purchase of an Adidas bag. The Winning Edge offers major apparel brands, Adidas duffel and backpacks, Under Armour and Russell apparel, and so much more. Visit their webpage, thewinedge.com, or their Facebook page. Call 574-223-6090. Quality products, unique customizing options, and friendly service from the Winning Edge Rao Place Drive in Rochester. At Smith, Sawyer, and Smith Insurance Agency of Rochester, they know anything can happen at any given time without notice. They also know that finding the right insurance for the right price is really pretty easy. That's why they are your local trusted choice agent, which means they have access to multiple insurance companies that offer competitive Competitive pricing and coverage. Call 574-223-2166 or stop by their downtown location at 124 East 8th Street. You can also visit them online at smithsawyerins.com. Since 1932, Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance has protected individuals and families from those unforeseeable events in life. In Zebra Football, 92.1 down and nine for the Zebras. Hunting rolls to pass. He's getting pressured and he's sacked. Sacked by... Hunting is sacked back at the 49-yard line and Coach Zaner said, hey, we're not done here. We've got to go. It's fourth down now and long under a minute to play in the game. Hunting down the shotgun formation. Down to 50 seconds to play. Fourth and long, drops the snap, hunting back to pass, throws it up for grabs. He gets drilled. It is complete by Bet Nimrod, but the Zebra is not going to get to the first down marker. The pass goes to the 45 yard line. Uh, make that the 35 yard line. So he's going to pick up about 14 yards on the play, but Plymouth's going to take over on downs. Rochester out of timeouts. One knee, it'll be over. Well, maybe two. But it'll be first and 10 for Plymouth with 41 seconds of play in the game, leading 28 to 20. And Hunting got laid out, and now Plymouth will use a timeout here with a 41.8 to play in the game. 60-second timeout. You're listening to Zebra Football 92.1 WROI. Get smooth one-coat coverage and a lifetime warranty when you buy paint at Ennard's True Value Hardware Store. 1619 Main, Rochester. Choose Easy Care Ultra Premium Interior Latex Paint with excellent one-coat coverage and easy cleanup or Weatherall Ultra Premium Exterior Latex Paint with stain resistance and great coverage and get great savings. Find everything you need for your paint projects plus expert local advice at Ennard's True Value Hardware Store, Monday through Friday, 7 to 7, Saturday, 7 to 6, Sunday, 9 to 5. And your true value. Start right. Start here. The next time you buy a cart full of groceries, make a car payment, or write that big mortgage check, ask yourself, what would my family do if I wasn't there to buy those groceries? Or make that car payment, or write that check. If you didn't like the answer, ask a State Farm agent about life insurance and start getting some answers you will like. Welcome to that place where doing it for them meets doing it today. Get started by contacting State Farm agent Jeff Klinkhammer at 223 301 Seven. This is Zebra Football, 92.1 WROI. 41.8 seconds to play in the game. Plymouth basically has to take two snaps here and it's over. They'll hold on to the hickory stick. The new Beyond Pizza trivia question coming up after this one, along with the post-game stats and hoping to uh, get a word with uh, Zebra head coach Mike Zayner. All that coming up in the post-game show. Plymouth is lining up in the victory formation. Placefield takes the snap, takes the knee. And there's 35 seconds to play in the game. I'd like to thank uh, Paul Hedinger, Alaska County Journal, for uh, giving us scores tonight from the Winnemac and Casting game. And Don Briggs giving us scores tonight from the North Miami game. Scott Worley with games, the World Coke Oak Hill game, 
Northfield game. Manchester game. Manchester game, good call. So that was going to be it. That's going to be the final snap of the game. Rochester is going to fall to the Plymouth Rockies by a final of 28-20. to When we come back, the postgame show after this on 92.1 WROI.